Gentlemen, welcome to visiting lecture today with Mr. Andri Riotko as an associate professor at Department of Physical and Mathematical Education and Informasi of Alexander Dovsenko Lukiv National Pedagogical University for the topic uh, routing algorithms. Yeah, today's session is being live stream on Universitas Tecom YouTube channel. Uh, for first session, we will start with class presentation by Mr. Andri and continue with the Q&A session. Time for picture and closing. Yeah, so let's begin for this this class today for Mr. Andri. The time is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Navita. Good afternoon, dear friends. Uh, my name is Andri. Uh, my name is Andri. Uh, I am from Ukraine. Uh, I work at Grofiev University. I thank you. Uh, I thank you for the opportunity to deliver this to you today. Uh, if you have uh, questions, uh, please send to the chat. Uh, my colleagues uh, and Jan and I uh, investigating optimization of swarm robotics algorithms, travel and assessment problem for computing. Meta heuristics algorithms. Uh, we are working uh, on algorithms what solve the travel salesman problem for finding the shortest path between nodes. Uh, for example, For example, uh, in this article, uh, discusses the solution of the spatial traveling salesman problem 3D variation using ant colony optimization. Uh, the traveling salesman problem considers n bridges and a matrix of pairwise distances between them. It is necessary to find such an order of visiting cities so that the total distance traveled was minimal. Each city was visited exactly once and salesman returned to the city from which he began the road. Uh, in the um, travel and salesman problem, 3D variation problem, um, each city has three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. At each iteration of uh, and colony optimization method, a new solution of the problem is built, which is based not on one, but several solutions of the population. Uh, uh, you see, you see on the slides a uh, flowchart of ant colony optimization algorithm. And here, here you see the algorithm implemented in MATLAB. So this is. Uh, uh, now you can see you can see that after the run uh, you can see um, after the run the main cycle of searching and updating the shortest path uh, between cities began. A total um, five hundred iteration iterations are programmed. Now, 300 and uh, iteration. Wait. 
one minute. Oh, okay. 500 observation. Uh, as a result, uh, we will get an image. Uh, this is figure two um, and figure one. Uh, as a result, uh, we will we'll get an image of the shortest path between cities located in 3D space. Please. Uh, in the second figure, in the second figure, you can see the dependence of the length of the found path on the number of iterations. Best cost and iteration. Um, you see what the more the better. Uh, but already at uh, 200 uh, iterations, um, the best solution uh, uh, already found it. Uh, this is uh, the specificity of meta heuristic algorithms. In particular, the ant colony algorithm. And the uh, ant colony uh, and the uh, ant colony optimization algorithm is based on the simulation of natural mechanism for self-organization of ants, the use of which will be considered. Of the ex on the example of optimizing the route of the salesman. Traveling salesman problem is to find the mass uh, profita prof uh, profitable route that uh, passes through the cities at least once. The multiplicity of uh, interaction is realized by the um, iterative search of the route of the salesman by several ants at the same time. In this case, each ant is considered as a separate, independent salesman who solves his problem. For one iteration of the algorithm, each ant carries out the full route of the salesman. And uh, 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 this is used, for example, L calculating shortest paths in routing algorithms. And, and today I would like to talk about routing algorithms. Why is this topic relevant? You know what the number of network devices and networks is growing at a very high rate. A routing is a process of selection above for traffic in a network or between or across multiple networks. Uh, before a packet reaches its destination in, on the internet, it usually needs to traverse across various networks. And routers are the devices which will forward the packet from one network to another so that they can continue on its journey. Before redirecting a packet to its next hope, the router needs to decide which is the best path for the packets. Uh, in most cases, uh, there are several ways to transfer information. The routing process usually direct forwarding on the basis of routing tables. Routing tables maintain a record of the routes to various network destinations. The router makes the routing decision according to the routing table, which is a list 
or their preferred routes to various networks. Then receiving a packet, the router looks up the packet's destination IP in the routing table, finds the best match, then sends the packets to specific interface and gateway IP address. Uh, routing tables are generally not used directly for packet forwarding in modern router architectures. Instead, uh, they are used to generate the information for a smaller forwarding table. This table contains only the routes which are chosen by the routing algorithm as preferred routes for packet forwarding. And, uh, and you see uh, on the slide a typical routing table looks like the following. Uh, network address, net mask, gateway address, interface, and other information. Static routing. Static routing is a form of routing what occurs when a router uses a manually configured routing entry. Manual. Dynamic routing. Dynamic routing is a routing mechanism handled by a routing information protocol, RIP, or open shortest path first protocol. Uh, that uh, dynamically exchange routing information among routers on, a, on an inter-network. Uh, there are also other types of routing. Uh, for example, policy-based routing. The policy-based routing is a process whereby a device puts packets through, through a road map before routing the packets. The road map determines which packet are routed next to which device. Policy-based routing is a more flexible mechanism for routing packets. Uh, and uh, so, um, inter-VLAN routing. Inter-VLAN routing is the process of forwarding network traffic from one VLAN and to another virtual local area network. You see? Uh, you see it on the slide. Okay, next. Uh, a routing algorithm is a procedure that lays down the route or path to transfer data packets from source to the destination. After a data packet leaves its source, it can choose among the many different paths to reach its destination. A routing algorithm computes the best path what the packet can be routed through. Uh, routing algorithms can be broadly categorized into two types. You see on the slide. Uh, it's adaptive and non-adaptive. Uh, they can be categorized as shown in the following diagram. Adaptive routing algorithms, also known as dynamic routing algorithms, makes routing decisions depending on the network conditions. It constructs the routing tables depending upon the network traffic and topology. They try to compute the 
optimize root depending upon the hope count, transit time and distance. The three types of adaptive routing algorithms are First, centralized algorithm. Uh, it finds the least cost path between source and destination nodes by using global knowledge about the network. So it is also, also known as global routing algorithm. Next, isolated Procus. Uh, isolated algorithm Procus the routing information by using local information instead of gathering information from other nodes. Uh, next. Distributed algorithm computes the uh, least cost path between source and destination iteratively in a distributed manner. And uh, non adaptive routing algorithms. Non adaptive routing algorithms also known as static routing algorithms, construct a static routing table to determine the path through which packets are to be sent. The static routing table is constructed based upon the routing information stored in the routers when the network is booted up. And the types of non-adaptive routing algorithm is flooding. Uh, flooding when a data packet arrives at a router, it is sent to all the outgoing links except the one it has arrived on. Uh, flooding may be uncontrolled, uh, controlled or selective flooding. Um, a random box. A uh, random box is a probabilistic algorithm where a data packet is sent by the router to the any one of its neighbors randomly. Uh, so um, we have considered the general classification of algorithms. Now let's look at examples. Um, distributed routing uh, or distance vector routing use the Bellman Ford algorithm. Bellman Ford algorithm. Bellman Ford algorithm helps us find the shortest path from a vertex to all other vertices of a weighted graph. Of a weighted graph. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, it works correctly when some of the edge of the direct graph G 
may have negative weight. When there are not cycles of negative weight, we can find the shortest path between source and destination. Uh, Belmont Ford algorithm based on the principle of relaxation, in which more accurate values gradually record an approximation for the proper distance by until eventually reaching the optimal solution. This approach assigns a cost number to each of the links between each node in the network. The node receives data from its neighboring nodes and then decides which technique to transmit the packet. The drawback is that if it receives data between the intervals and sends the packet, something changes and then the packet is delayed. It uh, advertises its diesel value calculated to other routers and receives similar advertisements from other routers unless changes are done in the local network or by neighbors. Using uh, this routing advertisements, each router populates its routing table. In the next cycle, a router uh, adver advertises update information from its routing table. Uh, so each node calculates the distances uh, between uh, between itself and all other nodes and stores this information as a table. Each node sends its table to all neighboring nodes. When a node receives distance tables from its neighbors, it calculates the shortest routes to all other nodes and updates its own table to reflect any changes. Um, examples uh, of distance vector routing protocols, uh, Belmont Ford protocols use uh, the routing information protocol, routing information protocol version, version second, uh, and uh, other, mm, other routing protocols. Uh, updates uh, are performed periodically in a distant vector, vector protocol where all or part of the router's routing table is sent to all its neighbors. Once a router has this information, it is able to amend its own routing table to reflect the change and then inform its neighbors of the changes. Uh, this uh, process has been described as routing by rumor. Routing by rumor. Because routers are relying on the information they receive from other routers and cannot determine if the information is actually valid and true. Uh, 
this process continues until the routing tables of each router converge to stable wires. Uh, the sum of this, this, uh, these protocols have the disadvantage of slow convergence. Example. Examples of distance vector routing protocols on the next slide. Um, consider three routers X, Y, and Z as shown in figure. Each router have their routing table. Oh. Oh. Routing table. Why a routing table in Z? Uh, each router have their routing table. Every routing table view contain distance to the destination nodes. For example, router uh, X and uh, one distance. Uh, from, from X to Y. This uh, distance from X to Z, five. It's easy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, these numbers are the distance uh, distances from X to Y. X to Z, you see at the flight. Consider router X, X, X. Now we'll share each routing table to neighbors, and neighbors will share each routing table to it to X and distant from node X to destination will be calculated using Bellman for equation. Bellman for the equation. Uh, D x y equal mean uh, c x y plus d v y for each node y element n. This is Bellman for equation. As we can see what the distance will be less going from x to z than y is an intermediate node, so it will be updated in routing table x. Uh, uh, updating and uh, not quite. Why? Not quite. The best part is this. One plus two equal three. Okay. Uh, similarly for Z also. Uh, and finally, and finally routine. And finally, the routine table for all. Oops. We see. Uh, see. We see this three. And uh, other routing tables for all. Routing table for all. Uh, now let's see how this algorithm works. I'll see this algorithm works.
Uh, and uh, uh, what can the weight of the edge? Uh, the computer network, it can be, for example, uh, congestion of resistance. Uh, now we will uh, now consider the MATLAB code. And, uh, uh, this open MATLAB online basic basic is free is free and uh, and uh, this is a Belmont fault algorithm is realized on MATLAB. Uh, the elbow code is used to find the minimum distance between the source node A to all the given nodes via the Belmont fault algorithm where the matrix M is composed matrix M is composed uh, the of uh, is composed of the source nodes matrix N matrix M uh, Consist of the destination nodes and W matrix W represents the corresponding weights of the edge connecting the source and destination. This is uh, a network uh, graphs graph A B C D E F G H L M N. It's uh, nodes of graphs. Uh, total. Uh, Ten uh, represents the number of nodes. Ten. Number of nodes. Uh, and uh, E num uh, represents the number of edges in the network. Number of edges. Next, uh, the basic syntaxes which are used are as follows. Variable S. Uh, variable S uh, equals pass M and W. It generates a sparse matrix from triplets M, N, and W, such that uh, S, M, K, and K equal W, K. Sparse matrix representation of the graph is weight. Uh, here, the matrix M represents the list of source nodes in the network, and the matrix N represents the destination nodes, and matrix W represents the corresponding edge weights. 
Next. G. G equal diagram M and W. Now it creates a directed graph G of all the source nodes in M to all destination nodes M. And it also specifies the edge weights from the array of weights W. Line H G graph with directed H di uh, diagraph objects represents directed graphs which have directional H H connection the nodes. Um, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Notice and do this. Uh, initialize the shortest distance of the source node to be zero and shortest distance of all the remaining nodes to infinity. Infinity distance and uh, shortest distance of the source node to be zero. Comment on the code. I restore the shortest distance from the source node to each node. Distance to each node initialized to infinity. Distance of source node initialized to zero. Initialized, initialized to zero. Uh, Uh, all distance are to be evaluated from source node. The source node is designated by S. We also initialize the parent node of every node in the network to zero, as done by the variable predecessor. Variable predecessor. This array storing the parent node to each node in the shortest path. And initially set to zero. Let's see. Uh, the basic uh, basic concept to be used uh, in the algorithm is what every edge is traversed n minus one times. So we take a loop and evaluate the correct value of the weights of all the nodes from the starting node by using the theory of relaxa relaxation concept explained earlier. After uh, the after we have calculated the distance of all nodes from the source node, uh, we now consider a matrix M, which gives us the indexes of the shortest path. It uh, specifies the nodes from the source node to a desired destination node S specified by the user. Mm -hmm. This is my side and inner side and this um, variable TR. TR equal shortest path J S D. Line forty one. K 
calculates calculates the shortest path from source node S to specify destination node D in the directed graph G. Uh, uh, and uh, please, mm. oh, hi, uh, highlight uh, variable. Highlight uh, a subset a subset of nodes included in the shortest path TR by changing their color to green. Highlights a subset of nodes included in the shortest path TR by changing their color to green. Okay. Let's try, let's try to determine the shortest path. Ah. And uh, cycle. First, uh, first uh, we see uh, main loop or main side. Uh, iterates n minus one times, relaxing the weights of all h. And inner cycle. In inner cycle iterates over all h in the graph. Line 90. This calculates the tentative distance from the source node to the current destination node through the current edge. And if the tentative distance is less than the current shortest distance to the destination node, update the distance of and its corresponding parent. Uh, next cycle for checking negative weight cycles. Uh, if the distance of the node can be farther, farther, farther reduced by traveling an edge, it indicates a negative cycle. Um, and this uh, plot in the graph. Okay, run. This is a figure, so one. Uh, this is a direct graph G. In common window, in common window, uh, let's try to determine the shortest path to node two. Second. Oh, this C, huh? Highlighted green on the graph. Zoom it. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, the second uh, node is B. But we see what the algorithm chooses a path through node C. Because the weight of H AB, AB is 7. And the weight of H AC is 1. CB is 3. Mm -hmm. What is the uh, sum is 4? Sum is 4. And shortest path is ACB, not AB. Okay, in command uh, window, in command window up to uh, 
not a node is uh, C uh, for D file um, and next and next six not F G H nine forty ah ten last notes last notes uh uh Uh, for example, uh, you see what the sixth node is labeled F, and uh, we see the shortest path taken into account the weight of the edge. Uh, let me remind you what the weight of the edge can mean loading the data transmission channel in the network. Uh, no. No. Uh, I send this code. Send the code to the chart. Uh, I send this code to the chart. Uh, you can experiment uh, with it on the MATLAB website. Uh, MATLAB basic is free. Um, Change the number of nodes. Was this change the uh, weight of the edge and change the ATC? ATC. On the slide, you see. The slide, you see. This graph and the shortest path on, on the edge up. Edge. Uh, now, uh, New questions. One minute, one minute. Um, oh, sure. Okay. okay thank Shall? you so much for Mr. Andri for the presentation. For all participants, if you have any question for the speaker, please add them to just chat or you can raise your hand yes thank you Ms. Navita yeah. uh, uh, okay for first question we have the question from Mr. Amin Tohari uh, what is the routing problem algorithm and then how do you solve routing problem that's all and thank you so much for Mr. Andri this is the question from Mr. Amin Tohari Oh. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's go to questions. Let's go to questions. Uh -huh. One minute, please. Sure. Uh, uh, from Easter. Uh, what is a routing problem algorithm? And then how do you solve routing problems? And, and problems. Uh, okay, thank you, Mr. Um, Mr. Amin Tohari. Thank you. Uh, so, um, uh, 
Um, but there are no, no universal written algorithms. Uh, Um, routine um, algorithms are different uh, for large and small networks. Uh, and um, uh, Accordingly, different approach to marshalization. Um, for small for small network, for small networks, For small networks, the Belmont fault algorithm that we have considered works well. Uh, for um, large, uh, um, large uh, networks, uh, well, uh, any algorithms. Uh, it's uh, um, Quite a lot. Okay. Uh, it's uh, what's a good question from uh, considering the dynamic nature of modern networks and the Increasing complexity of traffic patterns, how do routing algorithms adapt to unforeseen change in network topology and traffic loads? And what specific challenges arise in achieving efficient and timely routing, especially in large scale distributed systems? Mm -hmm. Uh, um, and how to recent advance, advancements in machine learning and artificial intelligence play a role of optimizing routing decision? And what are the potential trade offs and expectations associated with integrating this technology into routing algorithms? Thank you. Um, That's a uh, good questions. Mm. Dynamic nature modern networks, yes. Um, I think, uh, um, I think um, what uh, modern, uh, modern networks uh, are far from static. Uh, topology changes due to node uh, filers and uh, maintains and traffic uh, traffic patterns can uh, um, fluctuate uh, rapidly. Uh, efficient routing algorithms need need to adapt. Uh, to these unforeseen changes in real time uh, to maintain performance um, and user user experience. Uh, and uh, uh, so detecting change and uh, adjusting routes quickly is um, uh, Crackwell uh, delays can lead to congestions, uh, packet loss, 
uh, and degraded performance uh, and uh, um, distinguishes uh, actual change uh, from temporary fluctuation requires uh, robust uh, decision making mechanism um, large scale distributed systems with numerous uh, nodes and complex a complex interaction pose challenges for maintain consider routing information uh, and uh, coordinating rerouting decision across across the network um, uh, and uh, uh, Ah, about uh, you asked it about machine learning uh, and artificial intelligence. Machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, are transforming routine algorithms by uh, traffic trends and network behavior can be analyzed uh, to anticipate potential change and uh, proactively adjust routes before congestions occurs uh, and uh, real-time optimization uh, all algorithms can analyze network data in real time in defining optimal paths based on congestion levels link files uh, and uh, uh, artificial inte intelligence uh, powered routing can uh, con continuously from experience, improving and decision making, uh, and adapting to new networks demands. Next uh, questions. Uh, one minute, please. Um, oh, what's a good question? What cons uh, consideration should we take into account when selection a routing algorithm for a network? And how do different routing algorithms impact the overall performance and efficiency of the network? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, what's a good question? Uh, I think uh, uh, I think uh, what uh, uh, Different routing algorithm impact the overall performance. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I think uh, uh, when selection a routing algorithm for a network, uh, 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 um, first it's a distance vector algorithms might uh, might so far. Uh, Root state algorithms uh, uh, have the complexity better. Uh, hybrid approach, hybrid approach, a combined future, efficiency, and uh, and uh, and uh, should we take uh, should we take uh, traffic patterns and congestions? Um, static routing can be efficient. Uh, adaptive algorithms, uh, uh, load balancing algorithms, uh, distribute traffic, uh, and uh, quality of service requirements. Uh, traffic uh, uh, prioritization and uh, Different uh, service capabilities are 
critical and uh, network security uh, and network security authentication and encryptions encryption features in routing protocols are essential for protection uh, consider algorithms what handle expansion without performance degradation uh, rapid a rapid conver convergence is vital for minimizing downtime. Um, and uh, and uh, uh -huh. um, um, how do different routing algorithms impact the overall performance and efficiency of the network? Uh -huh. Uh, impact of routing algorithms on network performance. Uh, optimal paths, uh, suboptimal paths, uh, poor choices uh, lead uh, to congestions and delays, and uh, load balancing, and uh, convergence speed, uh, resource utilization, and security. Security uh, is very actual term. Um, we need to uh, protect against unauthorized access and routing attacks, expose the network to potential threats and uh, descriptions. Uh, and descriptions. Okay, next question. What? What's good questions? Um, one minute. How uh, does the choice of routing algorithm influence the uh, scalability and fault tolerance of a network? And are there specific scenarios where certain routing algorithms are more and ventures than ours. Thank you. That was a good question. Uh, mm, I don't know. What's a good question? Uh, I think, I think, Scalability and full tolerance. Okay. Uh, scalability. Uh, distant vector algorithms. Uh, RIP, AG, RP uh, can struggle with large networks uh, due to increased routing table size, small or large, uh, slow convergence in response. To topology chains uh, and uh, link state algorithms uh, uh, link state algorithms uh, handle large networks better create a detailed uh, network map uh, efficiently calculate optimal routes uh, and other uh, hierarchical routing. Oh, uh, hierarchical routing uh, uh, partitions networks into smaller areas, uh, reduces routing information exchange, um, improves scalability, and uh, reduces overhead. And uh, questions about ah fault tolerance. Okay, uh, fault tolerance. Uh, uh, I think uh, uh, what uh, algorithms supporting multi multiple equal course paths uh, enhance fault tolerance. Rapid detection, 
And uh, rerouting around uh, filers minimize downtime. Um, um, link state algorithms and uh, and uh, loop free loop loop free topologies. Uh, this is algorithm that prevention routing loops and show network stability. And uh, ah, and are the specific scenarios where certain routing algorithm and more adventurous than other. Mm -hmm. uh, specific scenarios. Uh, uh, for example, small and static networks. Uh, in small and static, st uh, static networks, distant vector algorithms and other simple, uh, simple and easy algorithms. Large, large or dynamic networks. Uh, here, link state algorithms uh, uh, provide scalability and performance. Mm, and uh, more hierarchical hierarchical networks in hierarchical networks uh, uh, hybrid uh, hybrid approach and benefits of both types are well done uh, and uh, next high security networks in high security networks algorithms with authentic authentication and encryption features are essential Mm. And uh, ah, mobile uh, mobile uh, networks. Uh, this is uh, now very very popular and uh, and uh, very high rate mobile networks. In mobile networks, uh, specialized algorithms, uh, for example, AOIDV, um, uh, specialized algorithms uh, handle dynamic topologies and. Uh, uh, fragment uh, link change. Fragment link change in mobile networks. Okay. Uh, 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 dear friends, dear friends, uh, I thank you. I thank you uh, for invitation and attention. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Okay, thank you so much for Mr. Andri. Yeah, before I close this event, for all participants, please open your camera. I will, I will take a picture on the cone of three for documentation. One, two, three. Okay, another one. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you for your keen cooperation. Finally, we come to the end of visiting lecture today. We would like to say thank you for Mr. Adi for the wonderful information and sharing your knowledge. We hope this information will be beneficial for all participants. At least we hope to have more collaboration in the future. The visiting lecture for today and here, we hope to see you soon. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you so much for all participants and Mr. Andri. Goodbye. Bye.